All right, how you guys doing today? I got a good one. Uh, kind of excited about this one, but uh, I got an un unboxing. Uh, this is a Volkortsen spring kit. I was having problem shooting subsonic. Whenever I would shoot uh, the Type 22, the red box, especially the black box, or any of these subsonic rounds, the bolt wouldn't wouldn't cycle, and I'd have to do this every time. But uh, I haven't even opened it yet, so uh, I got my bench made shootout. I was gonna do an unboxing. And uh, what I got, I'll show you the ammo I got before I open this. I got the uh, CB Longs. These are very, these are only 700 feet per second. They're regular size, but these are low noise. So these hardly have any powder in them at all. So I will be shocked if uh, this is cyclic with one of the weaker springs, but I'm going to find out. And I also have the, uh, the subsonic CCI. I got some Ely Club, Ely Precision Bench Rest, some Lapua Center X, I got some Standard Velocity, and I got the SK Semi Auto. All this stuff right here is subsonic. Standard Plus is one of my favorites. Actually, these two right here are my two favorites, I would have to say. I like the uh, Ely Center X, but I don't have any of that anymore. But, uh, and, uh, I don't know if I showed you this one, but the semi-auto rifle. All this right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down. You know, you just push the button. Pull this out. Here's the spring right here. Actually, I'm going to get a screwdriver so I can get the spring out. Let me, uh, hold on. I should already have the screwdriver out, but oh well, I don't. I'm gonna take it a second. Here it is. Okay, let's see how it comes. Well, Corson. I think these springs are like seven or eight dollars a piece, but I went ahead and got the complete kit. Here's how they come right here. They give you the two springs, the gold spring, heavier spring, extra power. Let me open it. I wonder which one it comes with. Put this on there. I don't know how you take it off. Trying to figure out how you get the springs off of uh, here. But, uh, I got the gold spring. This is a heavier spring. The dark spring. This is reduced. This is probably what I want. And I don't know which one it comes with. I'll have to look. But uh, anyway, I'm going to figure this out. And uh, I'll be back in just a second. All right, I figured it out. Uh, this one, the one that give you, has the flat head. So you just take, you unscrew it, and it comes out right there, and then you replace the springs. But this spring that it comes with is a reduced power. So I'm just gonna try this one first. What you do is it just fits right in here, like that. Let's see. Ah, oh, of course it's gonna give me a time. Let's see. There it goes. All right, this is the reduced one. Let's pop it back in there. Oh. It feels lighter. It does feel easier to pull back. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna load up just I probably just start out with some CCI subsonic 
and shoot a couple groups of five and just make sure it cycles all right. But uh, I'm gonna load the magazines and I'll be back. All right, I loaded 10 rounds of, uh, actually I just loaded eight rounds of the subsonic. And uh, just to kind of test it out, uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's the reduced spring. But if for some reason, I can't get it to cycle, which I'm not going to do this, uh, the heavy spring, because I don't need, this would probably just be an extra one in case that one wears out. Because I don't have any issues shooting supersonic type ammo with the gun. But uh, if this one doesn't work, I will put this reduced power dark spring on there. That's a real, real light spring. But uh, I'm going to try the one it came with first with the, uh, like I said, the uh, subsonic. And uh, I set up some targets down there and I just, See if it cycles. It looks like it's getting ready to rain. Hopefully it doesn't. Okay. All right. Hopefully it'll work. If I take my cap off and cut my red dot on. There it is. All right, I'm gonna do the one on the top left. Oh, so far so good. Guys, that was flawless, and that's with the CCI subsonic. Like I said, this stuff would not run with the regular spring that it came with. But it's a really light spring. But uh, what I'll be interested in is uh, after I shoot the subsonic, to shoot some of the higher-powered ones. And if this works with the high-powered ones, then there's no reason to, to even change the spring. I'll just put these other two springs somewhere and tuck them away. But uh, let me get on here and uh, see how these group. That was the regular CCI subsonic and uh, doesn't look like too great of a group right there. Hit two right there, but uh, man, that's like a two inch group right there. So I definitely want to get better than that. But uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try the Norma. The black box and the red box because those were the ones that uh i had the most trouble with uh i'm gonna shoot those next and then after those i'll go into the more expensive ones but uh i'm gonna do the red box that like i said it's one of my favorite cheap ammo is five dollars a box and i'm gonna do the black box and uh see if those cycle all right put five rounds in the black box I'll shoot it first, then I'll do the red box next. Hopefully, uh, this will work because this is pretty good ammo too, which I've always liked the red box a little bit better. But this is supposedly high performance target, and uh, it's definitely subsonic. What well, says 1,100 feet per second? So yeah. Anyway, see if it's a cycle. too bad might just be uh might just be the ammo but uh that's just one that didn't cycle so i'm gonna try the red box 
Norm Attack 22, the red box. This is the one that I'm curious about. I think this is better, am I? I'm gonna do the one on the bottom left. Here we go. This absolutely would not function last time I did a video with it. Had something on the lens. All right, here we go. Well, that's definitely a light spring. See what kind of groups I got with them. I was getting some good groups with the red box last time. For $5 a box, man. They got that stuff at Academy Sports all day long. I think the barrel needs to get warmed up or something. Here's the red box. So that's probably uh, maybe an inch or a little over. Black box, though... Uh, just a little over an inch but uh anyway they worked so i'm happy about that but uh what i think i might do is i might uh shoot some of the sks and see how they run through it all right i got the good stuff that's the sk standard this in my experience is the best ammo one of my favorites that actually out of the christensen arms ranger it shoots the best out of that and then i got some uh, uh the semi-auto rifle so, and the next one I got is a long range match. And this is, this is really good ammo too. But uh, I want to see if the Volkhorsen Spring will cycle all three of them. But, uh, I'm going to shoot the target on the right this time because I can't remember which ones I shot last time. So, let's make sure. I guess I'll do the standard plus this one first. If that Volk Horse and Spring works, man, that was that was definitely a good purchase. But like I said, I'm curious to see how it functions with like your regular power ammo. It should be the same. It should work just as good. But uh, this is the standard plus. I'm gonna do the target on the right, top left. Okay. thing works good and this trigger this full course and trigger is about two pounds man it's nice i'll do the uh i'm gonna do the long range long range match next all right Get something on the lens. I don't know what it is. Okay, that's all. So, that was flawless, and that one was flawless. I'm gonna try the semi auto rifle right there. All right, I'm gonna do the one in the middle.
Man. I'm kind of excited about that spring. That's pretty awesome. Let's see if we got some one inch groups with the match ammo. Ooh, I see one of them definitely wasn't. This was the standard right there. So that's about, uh, I don't know, say a little over an inch maybe. This was the long range. So that's a little over an inch. And then I had a flyer right here with the uh, semi-auto SK. But uh, man, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try the Ely's. I wanna do the Ely's and then do the Center X and kind of see which one works the best. Semi-auto Ely bench rest. This stuff should do good, hopefully. Do the one on the right, bottom left. All right. The Ely Club. This stuff right here is one of the cheaper match type ammos. It's all right, but it is definitely nothing special. But uh, I've never shot it out of my Mark IV, so we'll see. I keep getting stuff on here, man. I don't know. Weird. All right. There's a spring of what they're kicking up a little. I don't know if you can see on the lens, little this powder or something. It comes right off. Anyway, that was the club. Let's go see how the groups were. After I do this, I'm gonna do uh, the Center X and this. And lastly, I'll probably do the CB. This is low noise, which I know I'm almost positive that won't cycle. That might be something that you need the. Uh, this spring right here for but uh, let me go see how these two right here did precision bench press that's right there if it wasn't for that one that would have been a that's a pretty tight group and here's the ely club so about a two inch group but I'm surprised I'm not getting any one-inch groups. But I don't know. It might be the way I'm holding the gun. But anyway, I'm, uh, I got this one and that one. So I'll do the standard velocity. And then I'll do the center X right there. And see how it groups. All right. Do the Lapua center X. So this is my favorite along with the SK standard. We'll try something different. Maybe, uh, maybe I can hold it a little bit steadier. Try propping my elbow. Yeah, I think I can get it. I think I can get it steadier like this. I can find the red dot here. It is. Yeah, I'd definitely be steadier. Last one is the standard. I'm gonna do the one on the bottom right.
Definitely what you need, no doubt about it. Let me see if I got a better group since I uh, feel like the, I held it a little bit steadier. The only uh, bobble I had was with the black box of the Norma. The rest of them were perfect. Well, shit, the Center X, man, that would have been the best group of the day if it wasn't for that one. But, uh, man, right there, and then with that one. But what I'm going to do before I go, I got this one over here. I'm going to get my top ammos, and I'm going to hold the gun the way I did that time and uh, probably use my top three or top four ammos and just see if I can put them all in the red on one of these circles. And uh, plus, see if that spring keeps working, and then I'll probably... Uh, shoot a few of the high power, just cycle them. I might like run 10 through it real quick and just see how it works with the uh, regular power with the light spring. Okay, I loaded up the best, four best ammos I got. I got the uh, semi-auto precision bench press match ammo, the Center X match ammo, and the SK long range match, and then the yellow SK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the circles on the left and I'm going to prop the gun up and see if I can get a uh, tight grip on it. But I'm going to do the center X first. Yeah, center X. I'm going to do to the top left and then work my way over. Okay, and by the way, if I haven't told anybody, I'm 30 yards. So this is 30 yards, and uh, there's no magnification. This is just a SIG Romeo 5 red dot. So get this out of the way. I'm going to do the, uh, the Ely Precision Bench Press on the one beside it. All right. Thing's still shaking a little bit. Precision bench rest. So I need to remember I did the center X and the Ely Precision and then the SK. I'm going to do the long range match next. I'm going to do that to the one below it. Alright, that's good and steady right there. The, uh... I feel like I feel like I held that last one steadier than I did the other ones, but we'll see.
Oh shit, I didn't do good with the center X. There's the center X. There's an Ely Precision Bench Rest. That's probably the best one right there. If it weren't for that one, that's, that's about as good as I can get. And then that was the uh, SK Long Range Match. And here was the last one with the uh, SK Yellow Box. I had one right there, so. Anyway, that's about as good as I'm gonna be able to do with the Mark IV today, but basically this video was more about uh, seeing if that spring works which uh, the spring worked really good. I was surprised it only, I only had one where it didn't cycle on the, like I said, the black box Norma. But before I go, actually before I go, I wanna do those low noise, those real quiet ones. You don't even have to wear a headset. I'll do those quiet ones and then I'll probably just do rapid fire with uh, the regular mini mags just to see if the uh, spring will function the regular power 22. I'm going to take these off. I don't even need these, but uh, CB, this is low noise, specialty, 710 feet per second. And uh, I'm pretty much guarantee you that this won't work, but if it does, I'll be surprised. I'm just going to shoot at one of the ones in the middle because this stuff isn't as accurate. Let's see. Nope. Sounds like a cap gun. Smoke pretty good too. Some dirty ammo. This stuff's getting on my uh, lens. Weird. I'm definitely going to put this, I'm just going to do a rapid fire, 10 rounds, standard velocity. I didn't want to do the standard velocity, I want to do the regular, uh, let me uh, go load a regular, I want to do the regular power, I don't want to do standard velocity. Well actually, I'll just do one of the circles with 10, 10 rounds and see what kind of group I get, I'll do that real quick. Since I already got them loaded up, do the circle on the far right. I'll do it real quick. Huh? That was just the ammo, cheap ammo. Jamming up. One thing it could be, guys, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a lot of oil on those uh, match ammo if you can see in there but uh maybe it is getting a little dirty that might be the reason see right there look at all that all that oil so i don't know that might have something to do with it i don't think that type of ammo is meant for semi-auto guns like this but anyway what i'm gonna do is uh let's see what kind of group i have first and then i'll load up uh 10 of the regular which actually what I might do is I might load the strongest ones I got, the Stingers, and see how the Stingers function with that low uh, low spring. But uh, there's the standard velocity. They're all pretty much in a circle. And those are probably two inch circles. So that's not too bad, but uh, I'm gonna load up 10 uh, Stingers and then probably wrap it up. Stingers, these are 1640 feet per second. These things are screaming pretty good. Uh, I'm going to shoot 10. I'll shoot the uh, circle on the bottom right, see how they do. All right, here we go. That's a lot louder.
pretty flawless. You can see inside the gun. But uh, so these guns are very easy to clean. You just push the button and boom. I mean, it takes like five minutes to clean it. That was probably one of the biggest selling points on the whole Mark IV because the other ones were such a pain in the ass to break down. But uh, stingers look like, uh, I think that Mark IV is definitely meant for a uh, higher velocity. So I got one of the best groups, except for that one. But uh, that's 10 shots with the stinger right there. So that's not too bad. But anyway, I think that's probably it. I'm going to wrap it up. But uh, I'm definitely, like I said, uh, when the gun, I think, got a little dirty. It bobbled on some of the uh, standard velocity, which, honestly, these are kind of cheap. But uh, it did bobble. I had a few. You all saw it, a few jams with the standard velocity. But before that, when I first started, I had one uh, where it didn't cycle with this. But all of these ran flawless. And then at the end, the stingers ran flawless. So definitely going to put this spring up and keep that one in it. And uh, next time I come out here, I might try the reduced power and see if it will cycle the uh, the low noise CB long, which I doubt they will. But uh, anyway, guys, that's your Volcorsen spring kit. Y'all have a good day later on.